Hello everyone, this is Winnie and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my newly acquired pre-loved Chrome Hearts JJ Dean Biker Jacket. I got this jacket from Vestier Collective. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it later, but let me show you the detail on the jacket. So this is a size medium. You can see the M under the tag. And here it just says Chrome Hearts USA. Chrome Hearts USA and then M. And uh, crossbow studs, four of them. Three zipper pockets. And then the daggers. And so, so very smooth. And then on the sleeves, both sides, you'll also see daggers. Also on the left, there's a little pocket with a cross ball. It's a very small one. And now I'm going to show you the belt. You cannot take the belt out, it's sewn in from this side and then like this. So while I'm showing you this part, I'll also show you the lace. And then you can see the detail. And then this part. So there are two on the two ends. And then here on the belt, there's silver detail here, four holes. And this side, uh, the buckle is really nice. So um, this spins and this one too. And some JJ Dean jackets have two of these. Mine has one. And I've asked the people at Chrome Hearts and they told me that it all depends on the makers. Like uh, some of them decide to put two, some of them decide to put one, and some of them even decide to omit the studs here. But I really like the studs. Uh, one of the things that I was looking for when I was uh, looking for a pre-loved JJ Dean jacket was that I need the crossball studs. I really like the crossball studs. I have a pair of earrings that are crossballs, so I really like crossballs because I think they're very cute. It's like really 3D. And so that's the front. And now I'm going to flip over to the back to show you this beautiful design. There's silver here as well. Again, mini crossballs. And then on the bottom here it says, Chrome Hearts. I'll bring it closer to the camera. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's too bright, but it says Chrome Hearts. And as for the lining, it is uh, the regular black Chrome Hearts lining. Some JJ Dean jackets have MS scarf lining, silk scarf lining, and they usually use, or they always use three MS scarves. Uh, to make the lining and usually they're not three identical scarves. Usually they are three different scarves with the same colorway. So that's really interesting. But this particular one is uh, black Chrome Hearts um, lining and it doesn't say the year it was produced. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell because even for some JJ Deans at the store, some of them have MS lining. Some of them don't just like this black one. So um, it doesn't mean that this is really, really old, uh, but it doesn't really matter because it is in very, very nice condition. So I'm very happy with it. And the reason why I decided to buy pre-love is that um, it's just too expensive to buy at the store. 
The last time I went to Chrome Hearts, I tried on a size small. Oh, by the way, I need to talk about the size later, but let me talk about the, uh, let me talk about the price first. It's the price of a Birkin. Actually, more expensive than a Birkin. Uh, I couldn't, I, I just could not accept the price because it was so expensive. It's a jacket and I can't wear it all the time. I can I can only wear it in the winter. Not even now, it's November in Hong Kong. It's 19 degrees Celsius. It's not the season to wear this jacket just yet. And we are reaching the end of November already. So you, I can pretty much count the number of times I'm able to wear it at most, maybe five this year. So, I mean, I wasn't, I was never, ready to pay so much for something that i'm not going to use for many times and you know how i'm all for cost per use like my handbags so of course the same amount of money i would definitely choose a handbag that i can use all the time whenever i need uh, instead of something that is conditioned to weather so i was really happy that i found this for the fraction of the price um, at Bestier collective and i'll list the price below just for you to um, have an idea of how much these pre-loved jackets are and so here you can see on the bottom the Bestier collective tags there are a few things here this very big tag uh, it has the name of um the person who selected the item and also uh, the signature of the person who inspected the item and it says it's a very good condition so there are three things uh, three boxes and she takes very good con uh, condition and then matches item description yes origin has been verified yes so let me bring it closer to you again Then here it says, we only sell items we love, STA Collective, and then French on the other side. And then this little black thing says, dissatisfied with our quality control, keep this tag attached. So once I cut this tag, I cannot return it and I don't plan on returning it. So I'm not, I so because I wanted to film this video for you and show you where they attach the tags um, right here. I didn't cut this but I received this a while ago and I didn't wear it didn't have a chance to wear it because it's so hot in Hong Kong yeah so let me wear this jacket to show you the size so this says size medium on the jacket but it does it's actually uh, not exactly a size medium because the seller had it sized down to a size between a small and a medium when she got it. It was perfect for me because you can see the shoulders and then I can turn around. Yeah, and it's not short at all. It's just right. So let me know if you want me to do a lookbook because I have a few outfits planned out. But don't know if you're interested in uh, seeing me style this jacket. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see a lookbook video and I'll make one if enough people say they want to see one. So yeah, so I just told you that uh, the seller had this jacket sized down at Chrome Hearts. So Chrome Hearts did the work for her. Uh, from a size medium to a size between a small and a medium, which is perfect for me because when I tried a size small on at the store, it was just right. It was fitted and I remember wearing a t-shirt underneath and it was just right. So immediately I knew it was not the right size because it, I would not be able to wear it um, if it was too hot. If it's not hot, then I probably won't be only wearing a t-shirt underneath so I want to be able to wear at least a sweatshirt underneath so then I tried the size medium on but it was too big so this is perfect I'm super happy with this purchase if you want to know how much I paid for this go down to the info box below and I will also leave the link I don't know I can still see the listing um, but I don't know if it's because I am the buyer or because they always keep 
old link so that people can see what was sold on the website so i'll still put the link in i and i hope you can see it. if not then i will maybe i'll show you some more pictures or give you more information um in my next video or if you want to i can yeah i can just include some more information uh in the info box it didn't come with anything else like no hanger no uh what was that called no hanger no what's that thing that is used to hold the jacket i love it okay let, let me wear it again oh i love it so much and i like it a little big so the sleeves are like just right not too long and then you can see the back And then if I sip it up, it'll look too like I will never sip it up because I don't think it looks good on me. Like that. But I don't like it sipped up and I don't plan on wearing it sipped up. I just plan on wearing it like this. Hmm, so what do you think? I really like it. I hope you like it too. I think there's another one with uh, fringe uh, on the website and sometimes you'll find some on eBay but the reason why I bought it from Vestier Collective is even though I got it for a fraction of the price uh, it was still quite expensive it was still an expensive piece and I really do not know how to authenticate Chrome Hearts jackets therefore I trusted Vestier Collective so after buying this jacket from the seller. The seller sent the jacket to Festier Collective where they inspected the item. After they received it, they actually sent me an email before I confirmed the purchase because um, they found the measurement a little off so it was a little bigger on the shoulder. Uh, but then I thought it was okay. So then I still got it regardless of the slightly wrong measurement. I still got it and I'm very happy that I went ahead with the purchase with the transaction and yeah so and after uh i confirmed the transaction because the purchase first they quickly sent me the piece so um their shipment like the shipment from Vestia collective to me was really fast but then usually when you buy from Vestia collective expect to wait a little longer than usual unlike for example the real real they ship it to you within like a couple days like it's really really fast but Vestia collective is different because the way they do this is they let the sellers keep the item until the item is sold and then the seller has to ship the item to Vesti Collective for inspection so that takes some time and then Vesti Collective will inspect it and then have the item shipped to me so it's like one more stop before I can get the item so um, that's why the wait is a little longer but it's definitely worth it because I can like for sure know that it is an authentic piece especially for something that I don't know how to authenticate I really need their expertise so that's really really good I'm so happy and they did pay me to do this I'm very happy with Vestia Collective like the last time I bought something from them was when I bought a a skirt a Chanel skirt and then yeah so I'm um, super happy with their service so and uh, that's it let me know in the comments below if you like my jacket or if you have any questions about buying from Vestia Collective or anything about this jacket and please let me know in the comments below if you want to see a lookbook thank you so much for watching I'm gonna see you in my next video take care and bye bye